Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. So this is my personal ranking of Skylanders Giants levels from worst to best. So without further ado, let's get into it. What is there to say about Junkyard Isles? Here's the thing about Skylanders Giants levels. They're really well designed. This one just doesn't stand out at all. That's all I gotta say about it. Willikin Village is kinda weird. But not in a good way. And... It's just kinda mediocre sometimes. I mean... The payoff at the end is really good with, you know, the choppy mage and everything. But I actually, um, if you noticed here, I'm using the choppy mage theme in the background because of how much I hate this level's music. You won't see that very often. I won't often use the boss battle theme. But this time, it was just so bad that I just had to. Secret of All the Secrets is a somewhat quality level. It introduces a lot of new Archean enemies, and one thing I like about any game design is the enemies. And you better believe this was full of some new ones. The highlight? Probably the shield juggernaut. Also, it does have some good music. Makes good use of the Archean leitmotif. And it's fast and engaging as well. Oh, and not to mention the part where you get to punch the Archean war machines. Time of the Giants is a good first level. It teaches you all you need to know, it shows you the ropes early on. And the payoff is great. With the Conquertron boss fight. So it makes it not just a first level, like a tutorial level. But also a good payoff in the end. Rumble Town is a solid level. It kind of fully introduces the drow. And arena battles. And we get introduced to Brock for the first time. So that's interesting. Overall, it's just a solid level. Good enemies, good design. I don't know. There's nothing really bad about it. Oh, wait. Except the Skystones match with Quigley. Glacier Gully is an interesting level. It kind of fully introduces the Cyclopses in a way. Because this is the first level where we see all the different types. Well, I mean, except the Timid Clopses, I guess. But it's like kind of the Cyclops' main base, and that's one of the reasons that I like it a lot. But actually, Cutthroat Carnival is probably a much better home base for the Cyclopses anyway. Still a nice level. Cold atmosphere, just the way I like it. It's overall just a quality level. But I will admit, I've seen better. Also, it's a little too short. Now this right here is one of the Cyclops' many real home bases. I mean, until you drive them out. Here's the thing I like about this level, and Skylanders Giants overall. It has good enemy design. Skylanders Giants just has good enemy design, and this level makes use of it. I mean, it has a lot of different enemies in it. Cyclopses, trolls, 
First level it introduces Slobbering Muticus. So, overall, a pretty good level. Not to mention Blaze Brewers as well. And the arena battle also makes good, good use of the quality enemy design in this game. Here's the thing about Cass's Castle. It's a good level, I would say. The highlight is really the arena battle. Let's be honest. Uh, it's pretty much... I, I prefer this arena over Rumble Town. Actually, I think it's my favorite arena in the game. I like the chessboard pattern. How it like falls off and whatnot. I don't know, I just think it's a cool arena. My favorite arena in the game. And also, as for the arena boss, he's pretty cool, too. Good variety in enemies. Somewhat good music, too, I would say. I don't know, it's just got a really good aesthetic with the chessboard arena. So I feel like Troll Home Security is very similar to Cass's Castle. I think many people would agree with that. But I think this level makes use of the cool aesthetic of Chaos's Castle way more. Specifically the chessboard thing. Like I feel like that's that's my favorite part of the aesthetic of Chaos's Castle. And we see the enemies in Chaos's Castle used just as much. And not just in the arena battle. So, it has pretty much the same qualities, just a little bit better. The only downside it is, is it doesn't have an arena battle. Still a quality level with a quality aesthetic, nonetheless. I just like to imagine working there, like, just being part of the security place. I don't know why. <laughs> Just something weird. Auto Gyro Adventure is a nice atmosphere. I like all of the Lost City of Arcus levels. I don't know why. They're just kind of cool. This one isn't the best of them, but still, it's got the same design, so that's good. I like the I don't know, I like the dark, archaic design of, like, ancient-looking design of the Archean levels. I don't know why, but this one took me a while to beat. Like, I come back now and, like, wonder why it was so hard. Because I beat it easily. So, there's that. Makes use of the good enemy design, definitely. Somewhat good music, I would say. Just generally, the atmosphere is... immersive for this level. This level is just good. Just quality. I think we can all agree that the boss fight at the end is one of the best boss fights in the whole series. It's a singing drill robot. What more could you ask for? Anyway, this level also introduces the Crystal Golem, which I have footage of now. One of my favorite enemies in the game. I really like the Trogs. I don't feel like they were used enough. And I do count uh, the Jawbreaker as one as well. Um, the point is, I also like its atmosphere a lot. It's all dark and mysterious, like, just how I like it. It's got some good use of enemies. First level of interest is the Blaze Brewer, a good enemy too. I mean, I guess the Infuego Chompy is pretty good too, I guess. Um, the point is it's got some good enemies and bosses. Okay, now we're on to the top five. So for this top five, I have decided to award each of them for doing something different 
better than any other level. Which includes, like, mechanics, use of enemy design, uh, what's the other one? Music, boss battle, and just overall atmosphere. So let's get into it. And the winner for best special level mechanic goes to the Oracle. I mean, who doesn't like the Oracle? It's one of the best levels in the game, by far. I've always liked the special mechanic where you get to, like, pick the rooms you go into and you get to warp to a special area. And I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a fan favorite. Good enemy picks as well. But mostly that main mechanic. I always liked going back... I, I always like going back into it and, like, you know, trying to find all the other areas. You know. Oh, and also seeing what other people pick when they play through it. In the top four spot and reward for the best use of the great enemy design in Skylanders Giants goes to... Aerial Attack. I I don't know why. I'm very fond of this level, I would say. It's general atmosphere. It's dark clouds around really give it that ominous tone to it. The ship itself is really cool in the same way, pretty much. But the way the enemies are used in this level, we get like two armored variants of them and it brings back a bunch of the old classics from other, you know, earlier levels. From like the early game levels. I would consider this mid game. The point is the style of it's really cool. I guess the plot of it's really cool. Like how you get attacked, the dreadnought gets attacked. Or the dreadnought gets attacked by, you know, the spectral dreadnought. And you have to defend it and then jump onto their ship and raid it. I mean, it's it's just fun. It's it's a quality level. Really makes good use of the enemies. And the winner for uh, third place and best music of any level is Cutthroat Carnival. You saw this one coming. I mean, the music in this level hit different, though. It was... Okay, you just gotta listen to it for yourself. It really fits the whole theme of this level. Perfectly. And, I don't know, this level is one of my favorites. It also has good use of enemies, especially for like an early, early game level. We see the Goliath Drow extens extensively used, but we don't see them very often, so... That's something. Also the general atmosphere of it, the purple sky. I like that too. Um, the architecture of it. I don't know, this level is just well designed. That's all I have to say about it. Oh yeah. And the music never gets old. And the award for best boss fight at my second favorite level in the game goes to... Bringing order to chaos. You saw this one coming, didn't you? I mean, the final boss is so climactic. It's, it's just fun. The only downside of this level is really the like it's centered around the boss fight. 
this level is its boss fight. But about the boss fight. So you first get chased by chaos and it's like, oh no, a giant robot. But then you realize he's pretty slow. And then he starts picking up speed and you're running through and now there's, you know, Archean jousters everywhere. He tries to punch a hole in the floor. It's very interesting, you know. Then the other giant robot, the machine ghost, comes in and just starts punching him. And you start summoning enemies. You gotta attack the fist. There's also these weird disc things you can summon in. I don't know, there's just a lot to this boss fight. And my f number one favorite Skylanders Giants level with the award for the best atmosphere in general goes to the Lost City of Arcus. I don't know. It, this level's whole atmosphere is just ominous and... Like, this level, this entire level hit different. It just really did. It had this tone to it. The music, the spaciousness of the actual level. Just everything about it screamed, you're in enemy territory now. And you've got to keep a low profile. You know, it, like, that's the vibe it gives off. And also, like, a spacious cave area. I really like the color scheme of it. It's, it's, it's well designed, good use of enemies, good music. Everything about this level is so well designed. Like, I would actually live here. Oh, and also, uh, the little check-ins with chaos, like the little things he says, are also pretty funny. And that musical he was talking about, I would totally go see that. I've always liked the Trogs and the Archeans. Especially the Archean Sniper. My favorite enemy in the game, although it doesn't get much use. No joke, I would actually live here. So, that was my ranking. Let me know if you agreed with it in the comments below. Or... Just, just let me know what you thought of it. Did you agree with it or not? Anyway, that's all for me. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And I'll see you in the next video.